Oké, okay, welkom guys. This is the snake tutorial for Click Team Fusion 2.5. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is make an active object and create a snake head as you see me do here It's just a circle and I put the hotspot in the middle as you can see and I face it uh, Sideways and then you give it the bouncing ball movement and the next thing I do is give that uh, snake the movement that uh, You can use the click the movement controller to transfer the angle to the direction, right? So then when you press right or left, you just change the angle and it will automatically move. And you're actually done with moving that snake head. And it's very, very simple. So as you can see here. Now, next thing we do is we're gonna make the snake body. Now what we're simply gonna do is uh, make another circle a little bit smaller. And you can make a pattern of this, uh, you can really be all creative, but I just make a whole bunch of circles. And you need about 400 frames of this, so I just copied and pasted that uh, snake body a lot of times. So that's how you do it, you can call that snake. And then what you do is make an always event, and in that always event, you always create the snake body on the position of the head of the snake. Uh, and... If you do that, you have a really long snake body that follows your head wherever it moves. So as you can see here, now you see that weird yellow dot on top? That's because I needed to put the order uh, behind the head. So uh, it's, it, it spawns behind the head basically. And if you do that, you still see your snake head and that's how you make the body. It's extremely simple guys. So. Uh, that's how you do it. It's super easy. As you can see, you can just move around and blah blah. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, uh, well, here you see me add a, a couple of more frames, and then the next thing you do, you make a counter object, uh, and I, you just choose the counter object, and you gotta uh, go to the event editor, and you're gonna put a start of frame event and set the counter to something like five or ten or something. And this is the starting point of uh, how long your snake will be. So it's very simple. You just uh, put that in. And what you then do is the animation frame of the... Uh, you go to animation and compare the frame. And if it's larger than the current value of the counter, right? Then you destroy that snake. And what we'll do, basically, uh, this will make your snake really short. And later on we will put food items in and we just add to that counter and that will make the snake longer. So that's how you do it. As you can see here, I'm starting to make the food item. And in this example, I just made everything really, really big and obvious, right? But that's how you make it basically. And what you simply do as the, the snake head touches the food, the food gets destroyed and you add to the counter like five or three or whatever number you want, how fast you want your snake to grow. And you're actually kind of done with how a snake game works, but we still have to work on collision. So as you can see here, uh, but the first thing is I did was actually uh, spawn the food in. So every one second, uh, the, the food gets spawned in. That's easy enough and just put it on a random position. Uh, but... Um, uh, later on, I change this a little bit, like the normal snake, that it only appears if the other food is destroyed, basically. But basically, all you have to do is place it on a random position. You ju just say a random uh, 640 or something, or X and then Y random 480 or something like that, depending what you want. Uh, and here you see me just experiment with this, and you see the snake going about. Now... That's easy enough, and now we still need a collision, and I'll explain to you guys how you do that, but here you see an example of me playing that game, including a little backdrop. Now, if I touch the backdrop, it's very simple, the snake head touches the backdrop, you will destroy the snake head, and a little explosion will be uh, played. Uh, but if you touch your own tail, it also works, and what you simply do is, at the always event, you add one to the counter, and if the counter of the snake body is larger than, let's say, 50, and the snake head touches the snake body, you will destroy the head and explosion will occur again. And that's how you make a snake game, guys. You can, of course, uh, make more... Um, 
you can make more of it or less you like you can uh, put an other snake in you can uh, make all kinds of uh, obstacles you can make a parkour for the snake whatever you like that's up to you but the basics are very simple thank you for watching and i hope to see you another time